oh, the multiplayer, you can do land mode. So literally, I clicked land, I clicked set up game. Renee clicked the land tab, she double clicked my name, and that was it. There was no keys, no codes, no nothing. Just playing the game. And if a, if a few weeks ago didn't teach us anything, Tom loves his land mode. I do love yeah. my land mode. Um, so yeah, you can you can play with up to four other people. And if you have multiple people, you can decide what party members they control. So let's say you've got you know two other NPC party members. You can say, okay, well, I'm going to take the rogue. You take the wizard. And we'll just break it up like that. It works so fucking well. The whole system is drop in, drop out. It's seamless as fuck. We didn't notice any like weird networking issues or anything. It just is that fucking is, worked. Is that the same multiplayer system from that? Does it work similarly to uh, Divinity Two? Exactly. Yeah, it does. And like this is this is something where if you wanted a like drop in, drop out D and D game, like they don't even have to have their own character. They can, but they don't have to. So, like, Eric, if you wanted to play with us and just run the rogue, you can just join, and I'll drag that character over to you, and you're controlling the rogue. If you drop out, we don't even have to stop the game. If I want to turn, a, like, an offline game to an online one, I go to options, and I open up the lobby. That's it. Like, it is... That's awesome. Trivial that to get so started. Cool. It's amazing. So can someone play with you with a custom character, not someone from the actual, like you and Renee started a campaign. So you both have custom characters. Yeah. Nice. Okay. You just have to set that up from the start. You can't I, drop in with a custom. I don't know. I haven't tried it. We should, but I'm not sure. 